calls our editor. And she, I, so I've been singing, and she finds music and adds it to the end. It was perfect. It was pretty good, right? It was absolutely perfect. She doesn't even know what key I'm singing in. She goes and finds a song. I don't think you know what key you're singing. I don't singing. know what key I'm in. Hello, Irene O'Connor. How Hello, are you? Hello. It's so nice to be here nice with you. Nice to be here. Kaz, Kaz a little under the weather. Yeah. She uh, is taking the day off, so we're more than happy to have you along. Well, thank you so much. I just love how Christmassy it and Doesn't it feel Christmassy? Feel it, it does. Everything in and here. And speaking of Christmas, I was at the Rocky Hill Post Office. I was the only one in line okay. at 3.30 this oh, morning. well. <laughs> yes, because I drove up and I put all of my 150 of my Christmas cards in the slot into yes. the little mailbox that's on the road, okay. like, you know, yeah. on the side. Sure. And, and I drove away yeah. and that's it. And now I'm done. And you're the only one. It's like finishing an exam at the end of the semester, <laughs> getting those holiday cards off. It's just, it's the best feeling it ever. It is. We were doing ours last night and I was like, I don't now think Now you write a end. lot of cards. We do, um, because my husband works at the Connecticut Science Center and he has a lot of work contacts, so we all pile them in together. I think we did like about 500, maybe four. 400, 500 cards <laughs> Now, see, and I hand wrote my envelopes this year because the, the, the printer broke. Oh, yes. And I had 150. Yeah. I thought my hand was going to fall off. Yeah, but that's a but nice I, touch, though. But 500, so did you handwrite oh, them? Oh, no. No, okay. no handwriting. No handwriting. Just uh, everything no. goes in the envelope. Everything. All right, very good. Speaking of Christmas is coming. There are thousands of kids who need help. Christine Lee at 96.5 points, uh, 96.5 points. 96.5 points, yep. TIC. Yep. They do their Christmas uh, show every year. Gary Craig started this years ago. Yes. Uh, we are the children, and they are, are a little behind in their goals. Yeah, and they're not having the actual virtual, I mean, they're not having the actual party this right, year. Right, but so still, they need to get those kids some gifts. And it's, it's such a great party, and it's, you know, along with everything else this year, they're not having it actually, but they still need your help, so you can click on the link. I think we have it there. Yeah, it's 96.5TIC. Yes, 96.5TIC.com, I believe. And um, you can help them you know, make someone's holiday brighter this year. A lot of kids, you know, it's kind of, it's been such a tough year for such everybody. Tough, such a so tough year. So it, it would be great if Go you could do that. Go and help them out. It's really, yeah. it's a, all right, so the color of the year, you are not wearing it, nor am I. No. Well, this, you're wearing your pants. Well, right? actually, yeah. I actually am. Yeah. It's, what is it? it I, I didn't think gray was a color. Yeah, well, it is, it's a color, and I think they're calling it, um, it's a calming neutral in ultimate gray. Okay. Along with a vibrant and sunshine-filled yellow called illuminating. Now, the cons yeah. across the street from us painted their house yellow and gray. Okay. It, it didn't look good. i got to be honest <laughs> with you. And I stared at it because, you know, the house yeah. across the street is the house that you stare at. So I was like, yellow right. and gray? But I, I guess I could see in clothing. Yeah, in clothing, they, yeah. They, they I like of, those two together. Yeah, I, like I would those go with that together. two together. Actually, we just painted our kitchen a very, you know, maybe a little bit lighter than that gray. It's a, I love gray. gray. Yeah, I, I wear a lot of gray. Neutral color. Neutral, great really neutral great color. color. And if you want to spend a night with me and FAO Schwartz, we can do it. Absolutely. Well, we'd have I'm to bring your two sure kids wanted, and get you know. rid of your husband. But that's besides the point. It's one okay. night of wonder at FAO Schwartz. <laughs> They're listening. It's $25, but you got to go and you got to you enter the lottery. Yeah. And then you get to stay in the 20,000 square foot FAO Schwartz for one night. I mean, how incredible would that be? It's like the movie Big, right? Right. They're in, the, they're in there uh, playing the big piano. Exactly. I mean, it's like, can you imagine? 20,000 to... square foot. Feet. The fun includes a shopping spree, courtesy of Airbnb, building your mm -hmm. own remote-controlled car, a music lesson on the iconic giant dance on piano. Pani, piano. I'm thinking, I think I might be having a stroke, and oh, uh, and no. a feast. I, I can't get my words out today. This is unbelievable. Uh, but how fun would that be? Oh, Fao Schwartz. It would be incredible. What a holiday! I'm so glad they're back be. open. Remember them when they weren't open for a little bit? So yeah. They're, they're back open. I'm so glad they're back open. And too. do you like ice cream? Uh, do I like ice cream? Does who does not like ice cream? Mint chocolate chip, please. Oh, that's what I had the other night at Arethusa. <laughs> oh, they have such a great ice cream. I went there. to Arethusa in Litchfield last week. It was delightful. Just and delightful. Wonderful. And I How had the mint this, chocolate though? chip. Baskin Robbins, 75th birthday. I can't believe they've been yep. around for 75, 75 years. years old. 75 years old. And in honor of the big event, the ice cream chain is giving away some super prizes, actually. You could win free ice cream for a year. Or. For life. <laughs> For life. For life. You got to go and uh, enter. Follow Baskin Robbins on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Then post about a favorite memory you have at Baskin Robbins. Be sure to use the hashtags BR Sweepstakes. You have to be at least 16 years old and a legal resident of the United States. Hurry, the sweepstake ends tomorrow. Do you Ice have a favorite cream memory? For 
a year. Do uh, you have a memory of Baskin um, Robbins? Yeah, I I, my memories are all of Friendlies. Yeah, it's, we yeah. went to Friendlies a lot too. But I remember um, Baskin Robbins ice cream cakes. Yes. Oh, the yes. best. Yes. It's still my favorite kind of cake. It was no Fudgy the Whale, but it was still a good. It was still still a good cake. That's Carvel. Yes. Right? Is that Carvel? Yes. Yeah. Hi, I'm Tom it's all Carvel. Good. I love it all. I, I love it all too. <laughs> all right, so you love this next story. Yes, I love mm -hmm. it. Miley Cyrus has a broad <laughs> fan base. So apparently Chipotle held up a burrito that said Miley. Okay. And they said if you if Miley if we get Miley Cyrus to comment on this, yes. we'll name a burrito after her. Yes. So they did. So they because did. Because she commented. She commented and what did she name the burrito? And I think she said only if you name it, the guac is extra, but so is Miley Burrito. So that's kind of a long name. What a weird thing to <laughs> The guac say. is extra, but so is Miley Burrito. So do you have, to, you have to say that every time you order? The guac is extra, but so is my Miley? <laughs> well, you know what? They did it. So they it's did added. It. It's a new item it's under their done. app. And it comes with rice, black beans, fajita well, veggies. Chipotle is pretty known for their uh, oh, yeah. their crazy stunts. And their crazy stunts. Teams up with Miley just oh, yeah. perfectly. And it right? sounds delicious, actually. This is the best story ever. Starbucks is looking to expand in the coming decade. By 2030, the chain says they're going to have 55,000 stores. Oh, my goodness. So you will only wait 45 minutes in the drive through line. <laughs> That's when they have 55,000 stores open. But right now, they only have 33,000. That's why you're waiting an hour and a half in the drive through <laughs> And by the time you get, I'll have a triple double macchiato with a tall blend of cafe mocha with whip. Right. Everything is a special order. Uh, but you know that when you get to the window at the drive through, they're so friendly that oh, they make it worth it. Of course they are. It. Yeah. They make it worth it. They're like, you know what? Thank you so much for waiting all that time. Exactly. <laughs> and when I see the line, then I go inside and I try and time yes. it. So I yeah. look at the car at the end of the line. And then when I come out, I, find, I try to find that car in line, see whether or not I beat it by actually walking in to the Starbucks <laughs> and, and ordering it that way. And usually what is it? Usually the car wins. The car wins, you know, okay. Some, sometimes, sometimes. All right. We'll keep that in mind. Yeah, especially in Dunkin' Donuts, that always works, too. I, I would like a Dunkin' Donuts right now. You well, like beer? You know what, though? If coffee isn't your style, maybe beer is. I'm not a beer drinker. I'm not a beer drinker but either. raise your glass to one of the world's most popular alcoholic beverages because today is National Lager Day. Yep, National Lager Day is celebrated every year on December 10th. This is my mom's birthday, by the way. Today? Yes. Today's your mom's birthday? Yeah, it is. Hey, happy birthday. What, 93? Oh, uh, and your grandmother's birthday, too. Our producer, Jamie, Jamie? Spaniel's oh. brother, too. Yeah, your my mom? mom is 93 today. 93 yes. years. God, there's the birthday but, music. But there's the birthday music. We love it. Yes, oh. happy birthday, Mommy. But that has nothing to do with this story that we're talking about. It's well, National Lager Day. I thought that yeah. when the story hit, when Jamie, our producer, was talking about it, she said National Lager Day. I thought it was the guys who were out logging. I did too, actually. I, I didn't think I did it was too. lager. I thought it was lager. But we're continuing on the beer theme. We now. are. Where yes. are we going next? We're going to Budweiser. Oh, okay. Because they have the holiday Clydesdales, Which as I you know. Which I love. Best commercial ever. Dum, 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 Coors dum, Light, dum. though, is responding with a more than, you know, it's kind of a more 2020 mascot. They call it the Beer Man. So it's a Frosty the Snowman for our very difficult times that we've had this year. Look at this now, guy. Okay, so if you build your own version of the Beer Man yeah. and post it to Molson Coors Facebook or Twitter, yeah. you might win a prize. One lucky winner will have their backyard transformed into a winter wonderland. How about that? He looks kind of cute, right? Yeah, very cute. Yeah, so so uh, the National Beer Man, he's there. He's they're there. hoping he turns into an icon. Yeah. He'll you know, be, no kind of doubt, a, in the Super Bowl. Exactly, ads. exactly. All right. So. A little elf was caught on video dropping off a thank you note to a woman who was especially grateful for the joyful message. A little elf scampered to the front steps of this home in Duxbury, Mass. The visit so quick, Joan Sullivan, she missed it. But the, the little elf Aww. left her a note that said, thank you so much for your Christmas decorations. They have brought joy to me and my family. And... The Miss Sullivan, who decorated her house, was having some medical problems, and she said it really sparked Aww. the true meaning of Christmas. So she wants to find out who this little elf was that showed up at her house. So if you know anybody in Duxbury and they have other cameras, oh uh, let goodness. us know. That Not that that's like ever going to happen. Story. But it is a really sweet story, the little elf. <laughs> you just never said, know, it might. She said the only, thing, she, the only reason she knew that it was an elf was because it was on her ring door cam. Oh. Yeah, so she had it taped, and she saw the little elf coming up.
You know, elves are elves are celebrities. I love elves. And you know they what? are, yes. And for all the celebrity news, plus much more, watch People TV right here on Channel 3. Let's at check in. Let's check in and see who won today, Kay or Lawrence. Hey, guys. Tonight on People, my interview with the legendary Dionne Warwick, the backstory on her hit That's What Friends Are For and why she tweeted Taylor Swift. I've noticed over the years that uh, she's in the industry, how uh, she has um, felt a little bashed every now and then, and uh, she's too young to feel that. You know, there's no reason for her to. And she's a, she seems to be a wonderful young lady. I've yet to meet her personally. But I just felt the urge to reach out to her. There's much more Dion on tonight's people. Walk on by, bop, just bop, love bop, her. bop, 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 bop. I Walk absolutely love her. By. Oh, I love Dionne Warwick, too. She's a wonderful lady.